scores of international students and tourists are protesting the recent changes to the country's latest immigration policy. Just yesterday, the Canadian government announced that temporary residents who hold a visitor visa will no longer be allowed to apply for a work permit. Earlier this week, the Trudeau government also reduced the number of foreign workers allowed under the low-wage stream. Now, this crackdown on work permits for visitors is a U-turn on a policy that was launched in August of 2020 to make up for Canada's labor shortage. Since then, Ottawa has issued almost 5 million visitor visas and over 600,000 work visas, with India sending the most immigrants, amounting to nearly 19% of new arrivals. With the new changes, these visitors can no longer apply for a work permit. However, there are still some exceptions. Applicants holding a valid study or work visa are eligible for opportunities and jobs in Canada. Additionally, any applicant's spouse or parents who hold a valid study or work permit visa will automatically qualify. Immigrants who are waiting for their permanent residence card are also eligible to apply for a work permit. Meanwhile, anyone claiming refugee protection or has been recognized as a refugee can apply to work in Canada. And lastly, if an applicant is a trader, investor, or a professional under the Canada-United States-Mexico agreement, they too will be allowed to apply for the work permit. So as Canada continues to recalibrate its immigration policies, the impact on nearly one million temporary residents, foreign workers, and international students will be closely watched. Before I start this video, I would like to thank Ally News and Views on TikTok for this video. So, Canada, um, our neighbor, north of the border, has now plans to get rid of 70,000 immigrants in their country. Now, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said that, you know, because of the work, so because of the shortage they have, they're going to, in other words, get rid of some of the people that's you know who are immigrants or have temporary work visas. They're going to get rid of them, right? Seventy, at least seventy thousand of them, and they're working on bringing Canada, you know, getting jobs for only Canadian Canadian workers or Canadian people that were going to work those jobs. And so the thing of it is, is that, and this is, this is, I want, want, I want you guys to be clear on this because even though here in America, here in the United States, we're allowing immigrants, illegal immigrants into this country, Canada is going to crack that down and say, no, we're not going to have it here. Um, um, there's temporary work visas. Um, we need to like have a because we already have a shortage as it is. So now, so now Justin Trudeau, who the, again the Canadian Prime Minister, says that we got to get rid of those people. We got to get rid of those um, immigrants that's in their country. So now you see seventy thousand plus immigrants has now been you know get rid of in other words, and so basically. Here's what I think the United States should have done, right? They should have done Canada's policy about this. Unfortunately, they're not going to do that. And um, this, this is why elections are so important. If, and I told y'all before, if Kamala Harris wins this November, it's over for black Americans. It's over for us. Because, again, knowing her, she's going to bring millions more illegal immigrants into this country. Millions more. We already have, like, what, uh, hundreds of thousands of, Im hundreds of what, millions, millions of immigrants already? They're going to bring millions more. So get ready for that. And so what Justin Trudeau is doing, I mean, they really, Justin Trudeau really did a 180. Because at first they say that we're allowing you know, immigrants in. But since they have like a lot of shortage into that country, he has to make decisions. He got to make some changes of, I mean, what to do, like the jobs. And you notice the Indians who, Indian Canadians control their job markets, right? And so Justin Trudeau starting to realize that and say, you know what? Nah, 
We got to make changes. We got to, you know, let Canadians, the born Canadians, get those jobs. Not people that's from in, from in other countries, because you got um, Indians, con Indians taking over Canada as well as Nigerians, number two. Number one is India, and number two is Nigeria, all who have immigrants coming to Canada. So the United States here should have got the same implement. But unfortunately, you have politicians that allow all these illegal immigrants into this country. It is crazy, especially in sanctuary cities. And, and again, like this is getting even worse and worse now. When you have, you know, Venezuelan gangs taking over most of the neighborhoods, it's getting it's getting crazy. And I think Justin Trudeau already see what's going on here in America. And I believe that's mainly the reason why he's making changes in his country. And it, because it, he, he don't want the same incident happen, you know, in America happen in Canada. So that's mainly the reason, also the reason why Justin Trudeau, which that's not what that they will not tell you that, but that's mainly the reason why they, Justin Trudeau is doing this. They don't want the same thing to happen here in America it's going to happen in Canada. So that's why, that's why Justin Trudeau is making a major changes in his country on accepting or possibly um, deporting 70,000 immigrants. Because, again, they don't want nothing to happen in Canada like they did here in the States. You know, how you know, and populated all these immigrants here and how, you know, these, these gang members like the Venezuelan gangs and, and other immigrant gangs. They don't want that happening in Canada. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I think and Justin Trudeau is doing what is best for his country, and that's why he has no choice but to deport immigrants out of his country, 70,000 already. And you see protests is happening in Canada from immigrants because they, cause they felt like you, you deport them out, and basically they, they love Canada. They accepted that country. But at the same time, you know, the, Justin Trudeau, who, uh, who was the prime minister, had to make decisions that's, that's right for his country. But, you, but I, wish they, well, I wish we have that same here. Unfortunately, we have leaders that are allowing immigrants here. And it's, 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 it's a mess here. So let me know what you think about it in the comments.